Lone Ranger. Fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Morning, Jed. Morning, boys. Morning, Henry. Morning, Ed. How are you? Fine, Henry, fine. You all set for the trial tomorrow? Sure am, Ed. Set and ready. It seem a little strange to see you on a witness stand instead of on the bench. Oh, I won't mind the change. Be a pleasure to testify against that cold-blooded killer, Clyde Hinshaw. It'll be a good thing to get rid of him. He's been terrorizing this part of the country long enough. Ma Hinshaw is the brains of that gang. We've got to get rid of her before we'll be free of the rest of them. Some of us have been a little worried about you, Henry. As chief witness against Clyde, we're afraid that maybe... Now, don't worry. I'm being mighty careful. The town wouldn't want to see anything happen to you. Everybody thinks a lot of you. Well, that sounds mighty nice, Ed. Well, I've got to hurry along. Well, give my love to Molly. Indeed I will. Hi, Judge. Some stranger gave this to me for you. Said you was to read it right away. Very important. Thank you, my friend. How are you, Sheriff? Why don't we get that shave? Keep your whiskers on. You'll be shaved soon enough. I'll look real pretty when I go into court tomorrow. I'll be the center of attention. Sit down, Jim. Make yourself comfortable. Now, remember what I've told you. If anything unusual happens, I mean anything at all, you shoot first and ask questions afterward. Get it? Yeah, I get it, Sheriff. You heard what I told him, Clyde. If your mom and brothers try to pull anything, you're going to end up in the graveyard tomorrow instead of in court. I can't understand you taking all these precautions, Sheriff. I've been telling you right along. I wouldn't leave here if you was to personally escort me to the door. I believe in letting the law take its course. You'll change your tune after Judge Brady gets through testifying against you. Depends on what he says, Sheriff. He saw you shoot that bank teller down in cold blood, and that's exactly what he's going to say. <laughs> he ain't said it yet. He will, tomorrow. Judge Brady's a fine, upstanding man, Sheriff. Somehow I just don't figure him telling an untruth. Untruth? That's fancy talk coming from you, Clyde. You're as guilty as Cain and you know it. No, I ain't, Sheriff. I'm as innocent as a lamb. Danged if I can figure that critter out. He doesn't act like a man that's facing the end of a rope. I reckon he figures his family's gonna bust him out of jail somehow. That's why Tano and I are here, Sheriff. To stop the Hinshaws from ever causing trouble again. You've harmed too many people. Well, I'm glad you came, friend. You've helped me before. And I can sure use your help this time if the Henshaws get out of hand. And what about witness? You keep watch on Judge Brady? They have to come into town to get at the judge. And I've got men posted all over watching for them. Oh, well, don't you worry. I've taken every precaution to see that Clyde comes to trial right on schedule. I'm sure you'll do your duty, Sheriff. You can count on that. Good. We'll use the back door. We have a few plans of our own to make. Come on, Toto. You make them out, Tonto? We're not sure, but Big Bay Horse looked like one more Henshaw was riding. Leave the horses back out of sight. But well, wait here, Roof. He ought to be along pretty quick. Tonto, it is Ma Henshaw, all right. And Roof, me sure now. We're in luck. Me get horses. Wait. Him look like Judge Brady. It is Judge Brady. What him do out here? I don't know. Let's watch. Howdy, Judge. Judge? Reckon you know who we are. Unfortunately, I do. That ain't exactly flattering. You'd be less flattered if you knew what I thought of you. It's kind of brave talk, ain't it, Judge? Considering. I'm not afraid of you or any of your kind. All I want to know is, where did you get this? Recognize it, Judge? 
belongs to my daughter, Molly. I gave it to her on her birthday last spring. Kind of fond of your daughter, ain't you, Judge? Where did you get this handkerchief? Where do you think we got it? If you've harmed Molly in any way... We ain't harmed her, not yet. You're holding her. Holding her as hostage, is that it? That's right, Judge. We're holding her just like the law's holding Clyde. And we aim to keep on holding her till Clyde's turned loose. The law will never turn Clyde loose. You'll know that. Oh, yes, they will. It's your testimony they're counting on to convict Clyde. All you've got to do is change it, and they'll have to acquit him. Well, that's impossible. Everyone knows I saw the killing. I can't change my story now. You can change it, Judge, if you want to. And I think you will, remembering we've got your daughter. Well, why, why must you take these measures? If it's your son's freedom you want, why not shoot me now and have done with it? You don't understand, Judge. It ain't just Clyde's freedom we're after. We aim to have him acquitted. You see, Ma's been studying up on the law. Seems if Clyde's acquitted, he can't ever go to trial for the same crime again. Cause that's what you legal fellows call double jeopardy. So you see, we want Clyde to go to trial. It's up to you, Judge. I guess I don't have to tell you what'll happen if you say anything about this to the sheriff. No. I've no doubt about what you do. Well, we'll be waiting to see what you do at the trial. Come on, Ruth. What we do now, Kimisabe? We've got to find out what this is all about. You follow the Hinshaws and see if you can find their hideout if you can. I'm going to talk to Judge Brady. Me meet you at camp later? Right. This is a holdup. I have nothing of value on me. This isn't a holdup, Judge Brady. I merely wish to talk to you. Who are you and how do you know my name? I've known of you for a long time. You have a fine and honorable record. That's why it's hard to understand your meeting with Clyde Hinshaw's people. My actions, sir, are no concern of yours. It's my concern to see that outlaws and murders are brought to justice. If you're so interested in justice, why do you wear a mask? This mask aids me in what I've set out to do. Well, I... I have nothing to say to you. Now, if you'll let me go, I'll... Judge Brady, I know a man like you wouldn't be dealing with the Henshaws unless there was some compelling reason. What is it? I consider this question impertinent. Very well. You leave me no recourse but to tell the sheriff what I've seen. No, 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 don't do that. I... You mustn't tell the sheriff. You mustn't tell the sheriff. Why not? Well, I... Don't, don't, don't ask me to explain. What is it, Judge? You wouldn't act this way if the Henshaws didn't have some terrible hold over you. Well, it, 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 it's my daughter, my daughter Molly. They're, they're holding her. They, they threatened to kill her unless I change my testimony at the trial tomorrow. So that's why Clyde Henshaw is so anxious to have the trial proceed. That's right. They want him acquitted so that he can never be tried for the same crime again. Very clever. Planning to use the law to further their own ends. That's right. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do about it. If I don't do everything they tell me, they won't hesitate to kill my daughter. We'll find a way to defeat their plans. Oh, I implore you, sir, to say nothing about this. I can't promise that, Judge Brady. But my, my daughter... The law will do nothing to endanger her life, nor will I. Oh, I, I hope not. Go home and don't worry. Somehow I, I have confidence in you. Adios.
killed it, Ruth. Looks like somebody's trailing us. It's an Indian. Yeah, I can see. I got eyes. You think Judge Brady put him on our track? I don't know, but we've got to do something about him. No need for that. We'll separate here. You ride upstream and I'll go over the rim rock. He'll never be able to follow us. I could just as well pick him off. Yeah, and maybe have a posse scouring these hills. I guess you're right. Find the hideout tunnel. Them separating you here, Kimasabi. One go through stream, other go over rocks. Me no can follow trail. That's bad. I was hoping you'd find it. They're holding Judge Brady's daughter. And we go back make search? There isn't time for that. It might take us days to find out where they're hidden. Besides, we might endanger the girl's life, and I promised Judge Brady to avoid that. We must find girl before trial starts. I know. We'll ride back and see Sheriff Collins. I have an idea that might work. You come on in. Everything's been peaceable around here. I guess you've been worrying about nothing. You're wrong, Sheriff. The Hinshaws have Judge Brady's daughter. What? They're holding her to force him to change his testimony at the trial. He was afraid to tell you for fear they'd kill her. His daughter, huh? I should have thought of that. No use worrying about that now. We've got to move fast. I'll move fast, all right. What are you going to do? Well, form a posse, of course. You don't know where the hideout is. I'll find it if I have to search every inch of this country. Perhaps you will, Sheriff. But unless you find it by tomorrow morning and without the Hinshaws knowing about it, it'll be too late to save the girl. But we've got to do something, mister. We can't let him get away with this. There's one man who knows where the hideout is and can lead us to it quick. You mean Clyde? Exactly. He won't lead us to it. He won't even leave the jail. Not now he won't. But he might feel differently if he thought that whatever his family was planning had fallen through. What's on your mind, mister? Just this. We've got to have Clyde lead us to the hideout. And here's how I think we can do it. How about a game of blackjack, Jim? Just to pass the time. No, thanks. I'm particular who I play cards with. Now, Jim, is that any way to talk to a peaceful, law-abiding citizen like me? You in trouble. Me help you. Huh? Me got friend. We get you out of jail. You play big money? Not me, and you're not like it here. Thanks just the same. I mean, if I hear of a bad man who would not want to leave jail. You've heard of one now. Hey, Clyde, who are you talking to? Just passing the time of day, Jim, that's all. Forget it, engine. You can't do any business around here. What's all the excitement about? Sure hope there hasn't been no more killings. What's the matter? Don't you like killings? Not me. I'm a firm believer in law and order. All right, boys, here's what I want you to do. Get Clay and Henry, anyone else you can find. Tell them to get over here quick. Now get going. Hurry up. That sound all right? Fine. I'll call Jim. Step into the office, Jim. Well, what about this hombre? Well, never mind him now. All right. That was pretty slick, Clyde. Your family grabbing off the Brady girl so we'd turn you loose. So that's what they've done, huh? I've been wondering what they'd pull. Yep, but it won't work. Why not? How'd you find out about that? It doesn't matter how we found out. The point is we did, and they're not going to get away with it. The judge talked, huh? Well, what do you think? It won't do him a bit of good. He'll never see his daughter alive again. No? I'm sending a posse after the girl right now. They'll have her back in town before your trial starts tomorrow. You'll never find her. You'll never find the hideout. Yeah? Well, listen to this. Somebody trailed your mowing brother after they talked to Judge Brady this morning. You're lying. Think so? Well, just wait and see. Sheriff, I'll make a deal with you. You turn me loose and I'll see if the girl goes free. The law doesn't make deals with outlaws, Clyde. You 
I'll never find the girl alive. Mom won't let you get to her. She doesn't know we're coming. We're going to take her by surprise. Well, see you in court. Sheriff! Sheriff! Hey, Sheriff! Engine. Hey, engine. I've changed my mind. You get me out of here and I'll pay you plenty. You got money now? No, but I'll get it for sure. But get me out of here fast. We get you out. All right. It's time to move. Remember, mister, they've got the judge's daughter. One false move and she's done for. Yes, I know, Sheriff. Good work, man. Now let's get going. You got horses? Out and back. Hey, what'll I do for a gun? Here, take mine. That bay horse is yours. I'm much obliged to you, man, for what you've done. About the money, I'll... We stay with you. What you do, huh? We didn't do this for our health. All right, you can come along with me. But I'm riding hard. Don't worry, we'll keep up. All the hot cakes, son. It's well, Ma. You're a good cook. Have some more. When you finish them up, you better go down and relieve Ira. He ought to be getting pretty hungry. Yeah. How about you, honey? You want some of Ma's hot cakes? They're mighty good, if I do say so myself. No, thank you. Looks like you need a little fattening up. It may be hard for you to understand, but I am not hungry. Sure, I understand, honey. But you might as well relax. You ain't leaving here until Clyde's acquitted. Then I'll be here forever. My father will never succumb to your threats. I'm betting he will. Thanks, Ma. Sure was good. Get down to the lookout spot and keep an eye peeled for that engine we saw this morning. He may be nosing around. All right. No you, sister. I'm watching you. We'll cut across the hill here. It's a shortcut and we can save time. You don't need that mask anymore, mister. I prefer to keep it on. Suit yourself. What's wrong? It's had a loose and he fix. Come on, he can catch up. I said you to go up and eat. Seen anything? Nothing but coyotes. Hey, look. It's Clyde. Hey, he must have busted out of jail. I wonder who's that with him. Oh, it's a masked man and an Indian. You better go tell Ma. Most people don't know how to cook hotcakes nowadays. It's all in the batter. Now, Ma. I... Ma, Clyde's busted out of jail. What? Yeah, he's coming up the trail right now. That don't make sense. Clyde wouldn't bust out of jail now. Everything was going perfect. Well, he did, and there's a masked man and an Indian with him. Masked man and an Indian? See, here they come now. Ruth, that Indian. That's the one who was trailing us this morning. Well, golly, you're right. There's something funny about this. Take the girl and get in the back room and keep your ears open. What you doing here, Clyde? What'd you bust out of that jail for? Oh, we gotta get out of here fast. Sheriff's found a hideout. How do you know? Someone trailed you in Ruth this morning. That judge must have double-crossed you. Sheriff knows all about your plan. Who are these two? They're friends of mine. They got me out of jail. What's he wearing a mask for? Says he likes wearing it. What's the difference, Ma? Well, mighty lucky for us they was around. Guess we owe you a vote of thanks. We didn't do it for thanks. I promised to pay him off, Ma. They helped me out. We'll pay him off. Don't you worry about that. We got to get moving, Ma. Sheriff's on his way here with a posse. Ira, go saddle the horses and keep your eye out for that posse. Yes, Ma. You fellas hungry? We got no time for that, Ma. Uh, don't get excited, son. Ma knows what she's doing. Sit down. I'll fix you something to eat. We didn't come here for that. Pay him off, Ma. We got to get moving. <laughs> I'll pay him off. Get your hands up, both of you. Ma, what's the idea? Don't you know who these men are, Clyde? The one wearing the mask called himself the Lone Ranger. 
The engine's his friend. He's the one that trailed Roof and me this morning. You've been tricked, Clyde. We got away from the engine this morning. They didn't know where the hideout was, but they got you to lead them to it. Give me that gun, Ma. Just a minute. How about it, mister? Does the sheriff know where the hideout is? Answer me. He won't answer. I heard of this bird. Maybe there's a way to make him answer. Get his gun, Clyde, and then pull that mask off him. I wouldn't try it, Clyde. Go on. What are you afraid of? I got him covered. Deputy, Mrs. Henshaw. I figured Clyde would ask for a gun. Now where's Judge Brady's daughter? She ain't here. Ruth! Ira! All right, Ruth. Over there. Cover, Tunnel. Over there. You must be Molly. Are you all right? Yes, but who are you? I'm a friend. You're safe now. I see you got them all rounded up, mister. Yes, and this time the whole Hinshaw family will go on trial. Molly. Oh, Dad. Take them out, boys. You figured on everything but the mask, man, didn't you, Maul? Take her out, Jim. Sheriff, I'll never be able to thank that man enough. He saved my daughter's life. Why, well, he's gone. I wonder who he is. Why don't you know? Here's the Lone Ranger. Hello, Silver Horn! 